Let's get back to talking about the proposed mechanisms and in, in how earthing and grounding helps your health. So at night, it counters the effect of EMFs. So there are many people that I've seen it over and over, ground naturally, walk barefoot, that's great. But most people do not sleep directly on the earth at night. So if you're gonna ground and you ground 30 minutes and you're walking barefoot, that's a great start. However, you are surrounded by EMF and electrical pollution throughout your entire day, 24 seven. You're bathed in it. So now 30 minutes is a drop in the bucket compared to what you are experiencing at night while you're sleeping, your Wi-Fi is on, other radio frequencies are on, and the 50 to 60 hertz electrical EMF and dirty electricity is just pounding on your body and your brain. You don't sleep well, you're not gonna heal. While you're sleeping grounded with a grounding device, and I use one that is grounded to the earth outside, that allows your body to drain all the induced AC current that's being generated through capacitive coupling through the presence of 50 to 60 hertz EMF and other forms of EMF that generates electrical current onto the body. And I show that here in this experiment where you can see that there is actual current flowing from the human body to the ground and how my voltage or body voltage, AC voltage drops almost down to zero as I earth and ground. Do this experiment if you're curious. Learn how to measure your body voltage. Then basically turn off the power in your house and measure your body voltage. It drops. Your body voltage, alternating current body voltage will drop almost down to zero because in the absence of electromagnetic fields, there's not an induced electrical potential onto the body. Show you how to measure your body voltage and I'm gonna show you how to reduce your EMF exposure in your bedroom. Ready, let's go. Okay, I'm in the bedroom. I'm gonna show you how to measure your body voltage. It's able to measure in millivolt alternating current, which is extremely important. So most voltmeters cannot do that. This one can. This one, the black lead here is grounded to a stake outside. So then I turn this dial to volts, hit function, and that is now voltage AC. And you'll see my body voltage over four volts AC at 60 Hertz. And I'm gonna show you how to cut this down. So this is the main circuit breaker for my house turn off the master bedroom. So let's go see what it is upstairs now. So there's no power running into my master bedroom now. So let's see what is my body voltage. We're down to 723 millivolts AC, which is much less than the four volts AC. I also have an earthing mattress cover. My mattress cover is underneath a 100% cotton sheet. So I'm laying on top of the 100% cotton sheet that's above the mattress cover from earthing. So I am fully grounded. So this mattress cover is actually grounded outside to a grounding rod. So I have two grounding rods, one for my voltmeter to do measurements and a second one to ground my mattress cover. My body voltage drops down to almost zero. So by turning off the electrical power to the second story bedrooms, I am able to get my body voltage down to 15 millivolts AC, which is incredible. So the take home message that if you ground at night, you will sleep better. And if you sleep better, your sleep will promote health, mental health, healing, and you will generally feel better. So that's why you wanna ground at night and sleep grounded. So what are the studies that actually support what I told you? There is a study on NICU babies where the NICU babies were dying because of infections and enterocolitis and other forms of inflammatory disorders. And so in the hospital, they have a dedicated grounding outlet that's a special face cover. And you can tell because it's different than the white uh, face plate. So this one is an orange. 
So the babies are grounded using a special electrical outlet that has a dedicated ground and the electrical system is isolated from the rest of the hospital. So this is pretty pure and there's not going to be a lot of dirty electricity and stray currents in these grounds. So these outlets that were used to ground the, the babies, it increased their vagal tone. The vagus nerve is a nerve that is often stimulated by electrical implants by surgeons. We stimulate the vagus nerve to increase calmness, to improve mental health, to help with healing and overall well-being. But in this case, earthing and grounding was found to increase the vagus nerve in babies and it helped with their heart rate variability and the babies healed. So on average, they healed faster and they were discharged from the NICU quicker than those babies who were not grounded to the earth. So I know this is a small study, but when you have such a strong response, and this study was not sponsored by the earthing company or any companies out there. This was an independent study, but it's small. All research starts as small studies and then it expands. So when I first started talking about this, there's maybe a dozen or so research papers. Now there's like over 40 research papers in the peer reviewed literature. In 10 years, there might be a thousand. So I've seen this before when there's a new thing presented and it's strange to people. They don't want to hear it or they might be scared of it, or they're skeptical, they want to discount it. So instead of looking at the individual paper, like this NICU paper, which is an ex excellent paper because babies can't have a placebo effect. When you plug in a baby and you can actually read an actual readout of the heart rate variability and also assess their discharge rate, they can't fake that. That's, there's no placebo to it. So this is an excellent study, even though it's only a few dozen babies. What do you do with it? As a doctor or a person who is wise, they take that information and study more, read more about it, and even try it themselves to see if there's any health benefits. But those who are quick to discount it because they're just naysayers. So this next paper by Mueller is fascinating. They are a research group associated with the Olympic team in Europe and what they wanted to show was a, in a triple blinded study. They wanted to show if sleeping grounded helped with recovery and reduce inflammation. And what they did was they measured blood levels of ICAM-1, IP-10, MIP-1-alpha, MIP-1-beta, and SP selected. These are inflammatory markers of how inflamed the human body is. And you can also measure using like ESR and CRP. So we have specific markers in the blood that actually go up with inflammation. What they showed was that the group or the athletes after an eccentric muscle loading test where they're running down a decline treadmill, and that causes incredible stress in the body and also increases inflammation and also these inflammatory markers, those who slept grounded actually had better recovery and decreased inflammatory markers in their bloodstream. It's a small study. However, it's very powerful because blood tests cannot be influenced by placebo. And plus these individuals had nothing to do with any earthing company or product. So I. I'm mentioning that because that's the biggest criticism I get is that people say all studies are done by the earthing company or other earthing company products, but that is completely false because they haven't read the studies and they haven't read actually who funds the study in the actual papers. You actually have to pull up the papers and read them. And that's the purpose of what I'm doing here. I'm trying to help you one, learn how to read science papers and two, to learn more about a new medical concept how did I start this earthing and grounding journey? Well, back in 2017, I had a friend who sent me a video and she asked, hey, is this valid? Because she knew that I am a medical doctor and also a PhD, also trained in research. So the first thing I do is I go to the research literature and I search for academic papers. And I was shocked to see that there was already a dozen papers on earthing and grounding in the peer reviewed literature. At that point I had eczema and allergies so bad that I was always on medications. I was on Flonase. I was kind of like the guy in sleepless in Seattle. 
A wedding without cold salmon. Is I'm it? not allergic to salmon. Oh. So I decided to jump right in and sleep grounded. So for my eczema, I had these patches on my head and I was already in the maximum dose of, of topical steroids that was prescription strength and it was doing nothing to these patches. I added earthing and ground to it. Within a few weeks, my eczema patches started to get smaller and smaller and eventually went away to the point where I don't even need topical steroids on the patches anymore. I don't have eczema anymore eight years later. And another thing that I found fascinating was that I could never mow the lawn because I would have hay fever so bad that I would be like, you know, dripping in fluids from my nose and I was like completely sneezing all the time and I would get these hives. Now, after earthing and grounding, can actually mow the lawn. I can actually go out without any medication, no Claritin, no Zyrtec, no antihistamines and actually mow the lawn. So my inflammatory state in my body decreased. I knew something happened because the only thing I changed in my life was the earthing and grounding. And that's why medical doctors have an advantage over people who don't have a patient population where they're actually treating and monitoring their progress. So many of my patients, many have responded so well to earthing and grounding. So I'm not like this doctor who says, okay, all medications are bad and therefore don't use medications. I'm like, let's use conventional medication, but if it doesn't get us where we want to be in terms of inflammatory state that's low, then we'll add on other complementary medicine things like meditation and deep breathing and diet changes and nutritional things, as well as to decrease the EMF and the electrical pollution in their lives and see what happens. As an ophthalmologist, I can see inflammation down to the single one cell in someone's eyeball. I've had patients who needed steroid eye drops for all their lives because they have an inflammatory condition that is idiopathic. We don't know the reason, but they have inflammation in their eyes. They start earthing and grounding and two weeks later, they stop their meds because they feel great and they don't have to take their steroid eye drops ever again. That is what I'm talking about, how powerful it is to have clinical experience. So not only do I have my own personal experience, I have the experiences of many patients and also the group of the Earthing and Grounding Heals group has 54,000 individuals who have similar results. So that's why I think the internet is so powerful now is that people can come and comment, especially, you know, I've seen that on, on my videos is that people will comment how earthing and grounding has benefit them. And so every comment is like a little small case study. It's very fascinating. And I am, after doing this for eight years, I am convinced that with these research studies, we will definitely see that once we work out the mechanism of how earthing and grounding heals and understand truly what mechanisms are the most important, I believe this is Nobel Prize stuff for medicine because this will alleviate a lot of human illnesses because if you look at inflammatory disorders, it all starts with infl inflammation and it leads to many diseases like cancer, heart disease, dementia, Alzheimer's, liver disease, pancreatitis. It's all related to inflammation. But if we can reduce inflammation in the human body, we reduce the risks of developing these other inflammatory associated disorders. So by connecting to the earth, either through a grinding product and also by just walking on the earth, there's something called the heartbeat of the planet. And that's called the Schumann resonance at 7.83 Hertz or cycles per second. Now this is much slower, 7.83 cycles per second or Hertz is much slower than what we have in extremely low frequency EMF at 50 Hertz in Europe and 60 Hertz in the United States. So 50 to 60 is 50 to 60 cycles per second. That's much faster. Our bodies love the 7.83 Hertz because we're part of this planet. And that is what helps us with calmness, mental health, and it's, you sleep better. And remember, if you sleep better, if you're getting your actual eight hours of sleep and you're sleeping better and you're feeling refreshed, you're gonna heal, you're gonna have better mental health, and overall, 
you're just going to thrive. When you go indoors, you're surrounded by EMF and electric pollution. So I recommend that you actually ground indoors. You can ground with earthing patches. You can ground with a earthing mat and also an earthing mattress cover, which is what I use. For those who want to DIY, you can actually watch this video here and I talk about how to make your own earthing rod and you can connect that earthing rod to something conductive like Faraday fabric, which is available online and uh, Faraday fabric is basically used to block radio frequencies like 5G and other radio waves and the cloth consists of copper and nickel and it's very conductive and you can actually use it for a grounding point for your body. It's important for you to ground your body using a quality grounding point. What I mean by that is that using the outlet checker to check for proper grounding is not enough. That's the first step. That actually rules out a lot of bad things, but what it doesn't rule out is any stray electrical currents in the ground wire itself. So therefore, before you plug your body into that electrical system, you absolutely have to make sure there is no stray currents. So based on congressional testimonies by the EPRI and the NIEHS, one microamp of AC electricity is harmful. So that means there was a higher risk of leukemias and blood cancers in children who were exposed to levels higher than that. And that came out of studies of basically electrical systems that were grounded to copper pipes and then basically the kids who were taking baths were getting exposed to electrical currents. Now these electrical currents, again, let me remind people and the electricians who are coming saying, wow, one microamp, really? We're not talking about shock. We're not talking about cardiac arrest. We're not talking about seizures caused by a major amperage flow into the human body. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the amperage level needed to open voltage-gated ion channels, sodium, potassium, calcium, which controls thousands of metabolic functions in the body that can actually cause apoptosis, tumor genesis, or the formation of malignancies and cancers. So that's what we're talking about. So low levels of electrical current in the body is bad. So one of the best ways to ground is actually take off your shoes and your sandals and earth having skin contact to the earth itself. It's amazing. However, there are bugs out here. I was being bitten by ants. The other way to ground the human body is using grounding products like grounding mats, electrodes, as well as mattress covers so you can actually sleep grounded. Thank you for joining us today. Please remember to comment, like, and share, and also post your comments below and give us suggestions on future podcasts and videos ideas. Also, please hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications for our future videos.